So today I want to show you guys uh, what's a sextant and uh, different parts of a sextant starting right from opening the box to what you would see and what you should expect to see and how to handle the sextant as well and the different parts of a sextant. Alright so let's get started. This is uh, a box in which the sextant is kept. This is how the sextant looks like. Once you open the box uh, make sure that uh, you can see the certificate. Uh, the certificate is sometimes attached in the box like this but here the certificate is loose. The certificate shows you a few details about the sextant. Basically the serial number, the make of the sextant, uh, what are the errors uh, for different angles of a sextant. Here of course it is uh, free of errors because it's a brand new sextant. But sub sextants over a period of time they develop some inherent errors which cannot be removed and then you have to send it ashore and they calibrate it for different angles and then they include the value here in the certificate. So make sure that you have a certificate of the sextant when you open sextant. Other than that you will have a manual sometimes uh, for a sextant. It's a basic manual which shows the different parts of a sextant so you can learn about the parts of a sextant as well. Um, other than that what you have is uh, a screwdriver. Uh, this is to adjust the errors of a sextant and sometimes you also get a spanner and then you have a brush for cleaning the sextant, uh, general cleaning the dust of the sextant. You have a brush for that as well. And uh, that's pretty much the basic stuff that you have in a sextant box. Now to handle a sextant, uh, if you are a right hander especially, make sure you use your left hand to handle the sextant. So how you would handle the sextant is you would put your five fingers through these grooves of the sextant. Alright, so you can put this in the center. Through these grooves of the sextant, you should put your five fingers and then lift the sextant like this but you should be holding it firmly with your left hand and then transferring it to your right hand and that's how you use a sextant with your right hand especially if you're a left hander if you're a right hander when you're handing the sextant to somebody make sure you're holding the sextant with your right hand and you pass it on to your officer peer officer or peer whoever is working with you on the bridge and what they will do is they will put their left hand through these grooves and once you have assured or you have confirmed that they have the grip then you let go of this hand so they take it with this left hand from you and then they grip the sextant with their right hand and hold it firmly and this is very important because if you ever drop a sextant even if it's a small drop uh, sometimes the sextant can start uh, the, some errors can creep into a sextant which can then not be removed you'll have to send it ashore and sometimes then you have to work with that error Alright, so once you know how to handle a sextant, I'll show you the different parts of a sextant. I'll start with uh, what you may have or may not have in some of the sextants. There is a switch here, a light switch. Uh, you can put batteries in here and this light switch allows you to read the sextant reading at night. So there is a light switch here. And this is what something I want to show you because some of your sextants may not have that. Other than that, let me start from the basic. This is the index bar clamp which you can press and move the index bar this is the index bar of course this is the index bar which you can move along the graduations or the index arc uh, this is the arc of a sextant here is the arc of a sextant you can see the the arc of a sextant has all the graduations right up to 120 degrees minimum so you can read angles up to 120 degrees it starts from 0 to 120 degrees so all the readings from 0 to 120 is called on the arc readings and any reading on the right of the zero here what you see here is the off the arc readings uh, this is a tamaya sextant it's japanese made uh, you can see the japan and the serial number is given here as well you can see the country of make here this is a very good sextant one of the best sextants are the japanese and the german sextants uh, so this is a great sextant so this is the index bar clamp which you can clamp and move the sextant this is the index arm uh, this is the arc of a sextant over here you have the telescope sometimes you can have a standard telescope or a monocular scope depending on what kind of a telescope you're carrying so you look through this of course to read your sextant one day i'll make a video on how to use the sextant and get the sextant side and then you have the index mirror here the index mirror is here and uh, uh, behind the index mirror you have the first adjustment screw all right so sometimes you can use the uh, screwdriver and this screwdriver it is for maintenance only you can use this kind of a spanner to put it in and then make some adjustments so you have some spanner available if you don't have then you can buy it additionally or separately 
then you have shades for the index mirror so these shades are start from the lightest and they go up to the darkest an attempt should be made there are four shades here from light to dark you should always try to use the uh, lightest shade and then move on to the darkest and try to use a minimum number of shades then you have the horizon mirror and the horizon glass so half of this is horizon mirror and the other half is half of is horizon glass Mir uh, this is the glass and this is the mirror of course mirror is something where you can see the reflection and glass is something that you can see through so this is the horizon glass this is the horizon mirror behind the horizon glass you have the second adjustment screw and behind the horizon mirror you have the third adjustment screw for the horizon glass as well you have shades available and again there are three shades here light to darkest and again attempt should be made to use a minimum number of shades because the more number of shades you use the more errors start to creep into a sextant all right apart from that you have the legs of a sextant one two three this is on which the sextant rests this is the frame of a sextant through which you put your hands the grooves these are the frames of a sextant then you have your micrometer uh, the micrometer here uh, provides the readings in minutes this is the micrometer scale where you see the numbers and then next to it is the vernier scale where you can get minutes arc decimals of a minute or sometimes this is in a second scale so you can see this is the micrometer drum as i rotate the micrometer drum the sextant is moving here by a degree every time i move it by it, i give it a 360 degree rotation the sextant arm is moving by a degree um, then these are the readings which are given in degrees so 0 to 120 this is the degrees reading this is a minutes reading and this is the decimals of a minute reading all right so this is basically the parts of a sextant i don't think i have missed out anything and uh, um, i have previously discussed all this uh, in powerpoint presentations i'll give you the links to that as well please watch that video as well and you will have a thorough understanding of the parts of a sextant what it looks like and uh, what is the role and purpose of each of these parts Alright, that's pretty much it. I'll see you soon with my next video. Bye for now.